Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to another edition of the New Black Leadership Coalition here live on CAN Television. The New Black Leadership Coalition live here on CAN Television. It is such an honor and a blessing always to be back over these precious airwaves, trying very, very hard. Um, and it's a difficult task to disseminate information, to try to re-educate um, our people or people in general to send out a, a level of, of, of information that is sometimes seen or heard as controversial or provocative, unpopular. And, you know, I know many of you all, you, you tune in to different uh, radio shows, television shows, and you, you, you get your information from wherever you do. But this is a bit different. This is, I would say, uh, we, we're coming from a place that is unusual. And it is. It's very unusual because... The information that we provide is indeed unpopular in a world where people have been put to sleep by misinformation and false information and the information that just strictly entertains you, right. don't challenge you in the thinking that, you know, we have uh, been crippled by, yeah. unfortunately. So the new Black leadership is absolutely a timely coalition that don't take any prisoners. Okay. We don't water down what we have to say, and we're not going to sugarcoat it. We're going to call a spade a spade. We don't bring people on the show to go along to get along. I hear too much of that foolishness and that cowardness too often, and we need something stronger. You know, when you are sick, sometimes you, uh, 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 I mean, natural medicine, I believe in. Right. But you can't tell me, damn it, that sometimes you got to go and get some antibiotics. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes you got to get, unless you, unless you are maintaining your health, and I'm talking about mental, I'm talking about psychological, where, you know, in the physical, where you are doing this stuff consistently so you might can survive off the herbs, right. the natural cures. But when you go off course and then you get these type of diseases, mm -hmm. then sometimes it requires antibiotics. So the new black leadership is your new antibiotic, a strong antibiotic for the type of conditions we have in our life, in our community. It really requires, really, an emergency surgery. Hmm. I mean, it requires an emergency surgery because we have gone so far off course that only, only through the power of God and his servants that are not doing what we're doing because we just want to be seen by you on television. I got a lot of other things that I could be doing, pretty much just chilling out like many of you all are, and I don't have to be on it. I'm doing this because this is, a, this is definitely a sacrifice to oh, come yeah. back on television, to give information and motivation under a, 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 a organization, a coalition that put our life on the line. We put our life on the line for this. And so I am pleased and honored to have with me today, been with me before, yes. coming off a great weekend. Great weekend. It's like coming off a great fight. Yeah. You know, uh, Brother Enoch Muhammad, hip hop, detox, a leader. And when I say we have a special guest in the studio, the word special is absolutely befitting for an individual like you, Brother Enoch, because I was there on Saturday over at St. Sabina, yes, and brother, that was an overwhelming success because it wasn't about just a gathering of people talking, 
but it was about being about what you talking about. Right. Talk about and it, so be about it. Talk about it, be about it. Yes, so welcome, brother. We don't have Thank a lot of time I, unless they going to give us an extra 15 to 10 minutes. And it's a call Big, on. I'm asking my producers back there to big <laughs> for a few extra minutes. But how you doing this evening, brother Enoch? I'm putting yeah. it out there. Brother Mike, oh, what's I'm, going on, Brother Enoch? Hey, I'm thankful and I'm ready. And uh, since we got callers already, let's get to it. I'm with it. And when we get to the callers, can we turn it up? Because we can barely hear the callers. And if you want to call in, if you're watching this via Facebook, that phone number is 312-738-1060. Bro, it's so much going on, I don't know where to start from. <laughs> Tell the caller we're going to come right to them. But I want you to... Uh, when you call me, to call me on this. Mm -hmm. Are you on the sideline or mm -hmm. are you out here on the battlefield? Yeah, putting that work in. Are you on the sideline or are you on the battlefield? And I'm telling you, we can no longer as a black intelligent group of people continue to blame somebody mm -hmm. else to fix what's wrong with us. I can't blame Governor Rana. I can't blame Rear, uh, Rahm Emanuel, the mayor. I can't blame the President Donald Trump. I'm sorry. We got to look at ourselves. Mm -hmm. Everything that we could do, we got it within ourselves. I'm going to take this caller because it keeps flashing. It must be uh, Donald Trump on the line. <laughs> or maybe his, his uh, uh, adversary. Yeah. Uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Scott, Dr. Scott. Scott. Yeah. Dr. Scott. Yeah, top gang thug. Uh, Hello, caller. Yes, yeah. good evening, sir. Can you speak up? Can we get those speakers up? Because we cannot hear. Okay. Hello, caller. How you doing? Yes, great show. First time watcher. I've been watching this show. But listen, we as a people, all of us, Hispanic, Black, but especially us, have gotten the rotten apple for so long. But yet, we go to the cell box and put the same people in there. All of them. And, and the mayor, the only, the only thing the mayor did, did so far was, was get Mr. Bradley as superintendent of police. He, he, he's going to make a difference. But I just want to let you guys know, great show I'll be watching every week from now on. But we got to start for our vote. Thank you, brother. They're going to help us. I, I appreciate you tuning in, too. Yes, but, it, but he's right. But I got to say this to you, sir. You're absolutely right. But as the New Black Leadership Coalition, I'm going to put on our um, information out here so that you can get in contact. Any of you all that would like to get in contact uh, in, a, in a few minutes, I will put down uh, our information. But uh, I want to say this. Honestly, folks, if you're listening to me, please listen. Nobody is going to save us. But us. But us. No government, no politician, not one. Now, there are policies. Mm -hmm. There are policies yeah. that we do know affect the poor one way or the other. But even with those policies, if the poor decided that we were going to do what we needed to do for ourselves, mm -hmm. we'll put them out of business. Oh, all day long. You know, what comes to my mind is about 25 years ago, I heard a brother, I don't even have to say his name because you don't know who it is, mm -hmm. but this brother, I heard him say, he said, as far as black people are concerned, when you look at our condition, mm -hmm. in truth, he said, we don't own a brick, a stick, nor a blade of grass. We don't own say a rock, again. a rail, a spike, a spoke, nor a huff or a puff of smoke. You know who that is. He said, we don't own a brick, a stick, nor a blade of grass. We don't own a rock, a rail, a spike, a spoke, nor a huff or a puff of smoke. Now, without me even telling you who that is, when I heard Damn. it 25 some odd years ago, nothing. I thought about it. I said, well, the things that we own is like that movie uh, Baby Boy, Guns and Butter. Does it appreciate or does it depreciate? Is this something that we could pass on to our children? Is this something that you could build legacy with? And reality is, y'all, I'm, I'm not going to cuss, but <laughs> we are in a situation that is very serious. And a lot of times we say, look at the opportunities we have. Uh, we have a consumer power of $1.1 trillion. 
And it compares to that country and that country, but our daily habits, our thought processes, the culture and the way we live, if it's detrimental to us and our children and our families and the neighborhood that we live in, we reside in, that means that we must take leadership to a different level. And that's why when you use the word new and we use the word new, new means we got to look at this as this is life or death. And I'll give you this thought before I see the caller keep flashing, but I'll give you this thought as well. Is life so dear or peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? I care not what course others may say, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. Now I'll tell you who that is. We heard Patrick Henry in school. They said, give me liberty, give me death, while he was owning slaves. Give me liberty, give me death, but right. then the policies and the practices was totally against liberty. Well, today, we got to be about our own freedom where we say is life so dear or peace so sweet that our neighborhoods got to continue to be in the situation that it is? Hell no. We got to be about the leadership and say we got to have our own, not tea party, I guess we got to have a, I don't know, a chocolate party or we got to have something that... <laughs> we need something We got to have something that lets you know that, look, we have to be about the business and those in our neighborhoods that don't agree and don't understand you want to continue to be a slave, we can't agree with that policy. And they're going to suffer. Let me tell you something. And we're going to take the next call in about five seconds. Five seconds. Uh, This whole thing with the, uh, say, bags, uh, Mm -hmm. going to the grocery store, God have the most (laughs) interesting ways of making us realize that Every time you look up, there's going to be changes that will force you to realize that that is over. Yeah. Giving us anything. You say, well, we paid for it. Listen, we paid for a lot of things, but we yeah. have not taken advantage of what we... I was listening mm-hmm. to a silly show this morning. And do you know they had the audacity to say that if you gave people a home or you were giving land away that's like a socialist you know yeah. where you get this stupid socialist and 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 communist and and then you try to say capitalist well capitalism is not working because you got to have a permanent underclass and as a new black leadership i dare you keep bringing up these stupid concepts realizing that Communism or socialism, Mm -hmm. if you're doing something to make a difference in people's lives and helping them, damn it, that's righteousness. It ain't got nothing to do with those ism of systems of corruptions. I'll take the the, uh, the caller right quick. Hello, caller. How you doing? Hello, caller. Hello? Yes, sir. Comment or question? Well, number one, I wanted to uh, comment, uh, Brother Enoch. Uh, I've known for 20 plus years down at SIU. Uh, this is Alderman Irvin from the West Side. How you doing, Brother Alderman? To, uh, I'm doing all right. Just wanted to uh, commend you on the work that you're doing out in the neighborhood, in the streets, and everything. Yes, sir. And, uh, Brother Greg's doing his thing and uh, in, in helping out in the community. So I just wanted to, I was flipping through the channels and saw you on. I just wanted to just reach out and commend you for the work that you're doing. Thank you, Brother Alderman. Greatly now, that's my man. That's my man. Thank you, Brother Alderman. Irvin, he is. I got to call it like it is. I love him because he is indeed a fighter. Mm -hmm. I've sat with him, and he opened his arms in office for me, Mm -hmm. made time. And I'm telling you, there's some more Aldermen that I really love and care about. But then there's some of you all that we have to get in your butt because this the job that you have, you got to be like a Irvin, you got to be like a Michelle, and you got to become a servant. You know Don't do that for a damn job. Yeah. Do it because you're a servant. Now, a servant you deserve person. the money and all of the perks that come with it. But long as you are being a servant and you making sure every decision that you vote on, something is in it for black people. If it ain't something in it for black people, damn it, don't go with it. I'm sorry. Stop being like that, man. Everybody else, take care of they take care of their own but us. We got to be everything to everybody else but ourselves. It don't re- make no damn sense. We have to be redefined, and we have to do the 
we have to have the power to redefine ourselves, and it starts with the way we think. So just going back to what you said briefly. Reset. We have to reset our thinking because when you talk about the isms, the communism and the socialism, well, how can you talk about that when you don't even understand capitalism? You're afraid to talk and teach about capitalism. And I'll put this out here before we go to the next caller. If you deal with capitalism, you cannot deal with it and not be honest about the society and the fabric of society. There is privilege appointed to those who are white, those who are male, and those who are wealthy. So in this society, if those who are white, those who are male, those who are wealthy have the privilege, and that's wrapped in the fabric of society, then every institution, every policy, we have to redefine and we got to put on those glasses that help us to reset our thinking about everything, starting with ourselves and how we lead ourselves and who we allow to lead us. Yes, sir. Let's get the other caller. Hello, caller. Hello? Yes, hello, caller. Quickly. Hello? Yeah, my name is Eddie Pound, and I called I called and talked to you once before. Okay. And, uh, what, so what's on your mind, brother? The, the things that be on my mind is when you say about my black brothers and my black brothers in the neighborhood, and what, what's really going on, man, is that brothers is not going out there Talking to these young brothers that, that came up in the neighborhood 20 years later has been brought up off the streets. They don't have no education. Babies are taking care of babies. And nobody's addressed in that. And a lot of other things. All these abandoned buildings. Why don't get these brothers and start teaching them how to build in these abandoned buildings? Okay. Well, brother, I got a bank full of calls, and I and I know where you're coming from. I appreciate your call, and I'm going to echo it as I always do. We do. We should never walk past a shorty, as we, people like to call them, or somebody big and tall and stature. That's why I see them, not as a shorty. Let's take the next call. And just to say Before, this, if you want to talk about it and be about it, Hip hop detox at yahoo.com. We going block by block in certain neighborhoods. If you want to do something right here and now, you got that eagerness right. right now. H I P H O P D E T O X X at yahoo.com. We'll get you working on that if you want to go ahead and do something right now. I'm going to take the next caller, then I'm going to put something up on the screen. Go ahead, caller. Yeah, Mr. Sam. Yes, sir. Uh, you my boss. I'm your boss. Yeah, I, I, I'm a. Well, take. Uh, I'd say no. Just say you work with me because I don't let nobody call me they boss and I, <laughs> at all. And I'm. I we work together and we equal. And I might have a so-called little more authority, but I ain't nobody's boss. I'm not even my children's boss. I would like to be their boss, but I'm their father. But I know what you mean. Love you, brother. What's going on? Real quick, because we got a bank of calls. I, I appreciate what you try, what you're trying to do, and uh, you you train us to uh, reach out in the community. That's and right. That's one of the things I appreciate about you. How to become a nosy neighbor? Yeah, that's what we are. Nosy neighbor. That's what I train them on. All of the Safe Passage people, how to be a nosy neighbor. That means you got to speak, but that means you got to speak up. Bro, I got to get to the next call. I love you. I'm so thankful that you're watching and tuning in. And uh, keep doing that, man. And keep working like you're working. Thank you, brother. Next caller. We got another one. Yes. How you doing, my brothers? I'm good, please, good, please. good. Great, great. How you feel? Um, I feel fantastic. Wonderful. One of the points that I want to drive home to our community is that we better get up to date on economics. Mm -hmm. And not only that, we need to follow the money from A to Z. That's right. And that's a brand new concept. And it, it is a dot com. People can go to follow the money from A to Z dot com and check it out. We're wow. in the process of putting together the follow economic the money. tank on okay. that concept of follow money. Now, what I want our folks to understand, there's two key issues here that we need to understand. There's a thing called EB-5. 
And, and, and I want you to say it real quick because I got to go. We don't have but a few minutes left on the air, and I want to get to the rest of the caller. Well, I want everybody to go, go to the Internet and check out EB-5 because that will let you know how this country let foreign money come into different communities and start up businesses. Okay. And, and thank you, brother. Thank you. We're going to go to that. You still there? Okay, you're gone, but we got that, we got that website. Followthemoney.com, you said. Followthemoney.com. Hey, we got a whole lot of money in the black community. Follow us home and let us become dot com as a community, and we got it. Go ahead, Carla. How you doing? New black leadership. Hello. Yes, ma'am. How you doing? You talking to the new black leadership? Okay, hi. I want to make a quick, quick comment. Now, when we go to Ecclesiastes, number Chapter 3, particularly go to number 8 and explain that to the people. Where are we at now? And, and what, what's, what, real quick, what's the, the, the crust of that, that particular chapter or that one, that verse? Okay, it said a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. Where are we at now? Oh, boy, we're we at, we definitely to? at war. Absolutely. And a lot of hate. Well, you know, Jesus, Jesus made the statement. He said, nay, don't think I come to bring peace, but I come to bring a sword. And people are going to be divided up based upon truth and their desire to want justice over their privileges and their perversity. So right now, that is conflictual. That is warfare. And it start off with self first. So you're absolutely right. There's a time for everything. And right now, that time, it is conflict, it is warfare, and it won't be resolved until truth is in the street, it's in the home, and it's amongst us in leadership. That's right. We got another call on? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I mean, we want you all to keep calling. <laughs> 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 but I said thank you, Jesus, to the mere fact that it takes a lot of energy because we want to make sure we hear everything that the people right. have to say. Mm -hmm. And that's what all shows should be about. Right. You should be adamant about taking calls because I noticed that a bunch of folks, they just keep going on and on. No, hear what the people say because they might have the answers. Yeah. They might have this. And they do. Not might. You do. The solutions and the answers, and that's why, folks, let me put up this overhead real quick, and I want you to know that's the New Black Leadership Coalition right there on Facebook. The New Black Leadership Coalition on Facebook. You can reach us right there, www.facebook.com slash New Black Leadership Coalition. And it's very important for you to know that we really serious about what we're doing. There's a couple of events I want to before we go off air, I want to let you know, and hopefully Lou would be feeling better, yeah. but the uh, Chicago, at Chicago State, this uh, coming Thursday, February the 9th, uh, they would have from, I think the time on here, I can't see the time, but it must be from, is that from 12.30? 12.30 to 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that is the... Um, Chicago State University. Chicago State Black History. What we should know about this particular event. So like Power and Cointel Pro. Okay, Power and Cointel Pro, and you're gonna have their attorney Lewis Myers, civil yeah. rights uh, activist, lawyer, uh, professor, criminal of criminal justice at Chicago State, and our brother friend. And member of the new black leadership, That's right. Chairman Fred That's Hampton Fred. Jr., uh, Prisoners oh, of Conscious Community, Black Panthers, uh, Cubs. And I'm going to say this, that uh, this is an event that everybody should attend. But real quick, Gentle Warrior Awards. Gentle Warrior Awards. I read this, Michael read it yesterday, and I'm just going to... I don't think I'm going to name the people getting these awards, but it's tomorrow at the Pullman Porters. No, I'm sorry. It's uh, February the 18th, uh, Saturday, February the 18th, 2017, from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And the massive ceremony is Cliff Kelly, 
and they are honoring individuals in two categories uh, at the uh, A. Philip Randolph Library. The General Awards, the General Warrior Awards, Congressman Danny Davis, Tony Prentwinkle, uh, the president of the Cook County Board, John Rogers of Area Capital, and uh, David Dog. I think that's how he pronounced that, uh, president of CNI. And the Change Agent Award is for Melody Span Cooper uh, and uh, Pam Zach Zachman and David Savini and Brad Edwards. And Diane uh, um, uh, Latiker. Latiker, founder of Kids Off the Block, and Eric Rico, Nance. Now, I don't know some of these folks, and I know a few of them, um, but I don't think, anyway, I'll let that long. Anyway, that's that's an event. <laughs> I'm gonna just great say this. Work. Yeah, great work from David Peterson. Uh, over oh, the, you uh, love David, and we gotta Grand support Grand him. Or, yeah, and, and Dr. Gotta Lynn support. Hughes, love that sister and, and the struggles that she oh, had. Man. You know, keeping the statue of A. Philip Randolph up, and a lot of us came together to make sure that we could help her out in her time of need. So I'm, I'm thankful that that institution is still up and moving. Okay, now on Saturday. Yes, sir. Uh, such an overwhelming, overwhelming success. Yes, sir. And this whole piece of to reset, meaning re means again. Yes, sir. Reset. As you look out there in the, to the audience on Facebook Live and those who are watching via a, a website over Can Television Network, what can you tell them real quickly? Mm -hmm the whole thrust of the reset piece is. If you want to be rejuvenated and your life rejuvenated, your children, your family rejuvenated, go to New Black Leadership on Facebook. Go to Hip Hop Detox on Facebook. Hit us up at hiphopdetox at yahoo.com. Look up those who want to rejuvenate our people and the spirit of our people so that we can overcome these challenges that seem like mountains to some people who are in position of authority. So if you want to be energized, if you want to be empowered, if you want true education and transformation, we have to provide that for ourselves. We know that there are certain things that should be in the school system, but it's not in the school system. So we have to provide it just like other ethnicities have Saturday day schools and they have things that can help their people culturally, economically, spiritually, physically. We have to provide those things and, and close the gaps. When we say reset, we have to reorient our thinking. Because the reality is, is that it is time for redemption. It is time for resurrection. But none of these things will happen if we don't reset our thinking and stop looking for somebody in the sky with some hell chicken uh, wings to flap on down and then come get us and help us out. I'm sorry. Beam me up, Scotty. Ain't working. I don't care what you smoking. I don't care what you drinking. The reality is, is that we have to now look at ourselves and look at those who are doing the work. Now, I don't know they're just talking. We got to look at those who are willing to do the work so that politically, economically, spiritually, socially, psychologically, and holistically as a people, we, we can go from where we are to where we need to be. So 10, 20 years from now, we can say, wow, that work was put in and we trained new black leaders as we were doing it so that now, 20 years from now, we have a great crop of leadership. They're standing tall, strong, and they're aware and they're sincere. Great. And as a new black leadership, as we wrap this up, I want to ask all of you all out there that are, that's viewing this. As a new black leadership coalition, as you pray every night and you at church, since we like to call this Black History Month, right. you typically get more Valentine stuff than you do black referring yeah. to our ancestors. Make sure you put our ancestors in your prayers. All of them. All of our ancestors, thank God for them because we standing on their shoulders. Thank you all for tuning in to the New Black Leadership Coalition, and we will see you same time, same place, God willing, next week. New Black Leadership.